mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to the widely waited for Deltarune chapter 2. This series will be a much more digestible format, I'm not going to say much more about it. Let's fire in, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in this. Sharky Boy when we watch Charlotte play? Hopefully, hopefully. I don't know who Sharky Boy is, I don't know who anybody is in this game yet. I do have confirmation bias, I'm gonna come out and say it immediately. I don't actually think that the first chapter happened. Whatsoever. I, I don't think it happened. Because when we left the uh, Darkner world, right? That's what it's called. I was on the I was on the wiki for a little bit, and that's that's what it said. The Darkner world. The Dark World, that's it. And we're in the light world. When we went back into the light world, there were kind of like little bits and pieces all over the floor that would suggest to us that maybe it was just a child's adventure all in our kids. So already with that confirmation bias, I'm going into the second chapter. I'm gonna see if I can confirm whether or not that's the case. Or, whether or not this actually is a thing, and uh, I gaslit myself into believing that none of the game happened. So, uh, we're gonna go into our genocide save right here, that's this first save right here. We do have a second save right down at the bottom, that is our kind of pacifist run. We're gonna be doing that one eventually, but for now, let's just experience the game. What is this? I think this is Goat Mother, right? Go with that? Excellent. Wonderful. Honey, are you away? I hope this is Goat Mother. Oh, wait! Is that a... A knife? No! Chris, did you eat all of the pie? <laughs> it's starting off pretty good so far. It is, it is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? I knew we were going to eat the whole peach pie. Bottom is your knife run. Best goat mom scream. It is, isn't it? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? Well, hurry out of bed. It is time for school. We ate the whole pie. That feels good. We predicted that. That was actually uh, one of the lore predictions that we made immediately in the uh, first section of the game where we we're going to eat that whole peach pie. And it turns out we did. All right, let's look at that. Page. It's a birdcage. When the door's closed, there's no escape. But the door's open. Didn't we stab ourselves to death in the last episode? I'm pretty sure we did in the last chapter. There's $5 in your brother's drawer. Take it? Well, he's not gonna need it. He reluctantly borrowed $5. Reluctantly, my ass. Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of Cat Petter's RPG. Catty and Catty can be seen faintly written in worn gel pen. You throw out your soul for pie? Oh yeah, that is, that is a trade I would definitely make. On the computer's desktop is a folder called Epic Games Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems the last boss is a creature with a giant rainbow wings. Doesn't seem like this game ever saw the light of day. Is that a Five Nights at Freddy's World reference? Butterscotch cinnamon pie, not peach. Well, how the hell would I know? I didn't, I didn't stop and taste it. Okay, it's what they call you. That's an unusual way of phrasing that. Uh, so I was on the wiki for a little bit, trying to kind of educate myself about the lore of Deltarune, just a, a little bit in the background, the Dark World and the Light room World and stuff. This right here is supposed to be kind of like the flowers, right, from the first game, from, uh, from Undertale? I think it is, right? Undertale reference, okay. I need to play Undertale, I haven't played it yet. There's no time to read books, just generally. <laughs> that is actually a spot-on, uh, observation. What's out this window? Nothing. What's in this bathtub? On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. Can we drink it? And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Right, so the apple's probably for us. It's a toilet. Flush it? Absolutely. <laughs> you flushed the toilet. Nice. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yes. We're still gonna get secrets with this, right? I hope we are. I hope we're gonna get secrets again. Unless it's the same dialogue. We just don't know yet. You flushed the toilet. Wonderful. It's a toilet. Flush it? I'd love to. Do -do 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 -do! Wonderful, and another one, it's a toilet, flush it, yes. I don't think Goat Mother actually cares anymore that we're individually flushing each, each poop down the toilet. It's not time to wash our hands, okay. Fridge has a photo on the fridge, it's of you, your mother, and your brother. Is that, uh, alopecia? Is that, was that what his name is, alopecia? There's some cinnamon batter caked on the stove top. I can't believe we left some. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. <laughs> It's a trash can. Somewhere it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. That's because mother is sour. It is a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Okay, that's good to know. What's on TV? It's a TV. Looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. All right, fine. Azrael. 
Oh, Ezreal, that's the one. Well, well, shall we go? Ebso, goddamn lootly, goat mum. Ezreal. Riss, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. If I knew you were gonna be late, I wouldn't have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Uh, okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> uh, that's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting reading from page 142. Any... any volunteers? Oh, I can't read. Oh my, guess I could read the... Ah! Trouble yourself not, Noel! I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation! Um, that's okay, I can... Um, page 142! It was the best of times! It was the worst of times! That's a Led Zeppelin song. Times were pretty good! Times are pretty bad! Mediocre times! Iffy times! So, so deep! Listening to this, your eyes began to close automatically. God knows how, with a voice like that, I doubt anybody could relax. Have a nice day, everyone. And please, remember your group projects. Oh, um, Chris, uh, you okay? You're, uh, s sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually I only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? I will do just that, strange hentai reviewer man. Uh, he reviews hentai, by the way. Oh, nice, we've got Susie back again. Your voice will be gone. The voice is consistent, excellent, good, because I, I just watched my last video to like refresh my memory on the voices. Well, look who it is, the school zombie. You're sleeping like a corpse, all glass. <laughs> What's the matter? Had a trouble going Betty by last night? <laughs> Me too, Chris. Like I could sleep after yesterday! Just waiting for today felt like years! Did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Relsi, everyone! Are they still... Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already! Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side so we can all see the faces. Alphys is still a she? Ah, okay. Bertie is a calming voice? Okay, okay. Alright, Chris, this is it. The moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we, uh, open this and there's nothing inside, we'll, uh, we still be... Screw it! Let's just open it already! Um, S Susie? Yeah? Noelle! Hey! What the hell are you doing here? Um, sorry to bother you, but I, uh... Well, I just, Birdley and I were going to the library to do some research for our group projects, and if it's okay, um, would you want to come too? Oh, uh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Uh, I mean, we're like, uh, busy with, uh, Chris, help me out here, what do we say? These options are genius. Do we do we just do crime? We are doing like a genocide run, aren't we? Okay, genocide run, crime. You know, just committing crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to uh, jail forever. It sucks. Uh, oh, um, well, uh, that sounds uh, just have fun, you two. I'll uh, be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. Um, actually, wait, wait a second. Susie, I, um, I have something for you. Huh? Okay, see you and bye! It's a lunchbox. Full of chalk! She had chalk the whole time! And didn't give it to Elvis! What the hell, Chris? Here, you hold on to this. You got the chalk. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noel ask me to do homework? 
With her! Death wish much? Did she want to fail? Wait a second! Wait a second! Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's onto our secret identities. You know, this dark world stuff. Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting already, all right? Let's go! Okay, does it all exist? Does it happen? We've changed colors. We've done a Michael Jackson. Remember when Michael Jackson uh, got plastic surgery to be white? That was weird, wasn't it? What a weird guy. Okay, we're back at the castle, I think. Here we are. Chris, Susie, it's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? Not was a disease? Oh, that's, that's sad to hear. I wonder what. Was it BPAs? Because I know that he also uh, got his face done in plastic, too. So maybe it was BPAs. It's just that I've never had friends before. Because of a skin condition? Oh, that's less sad. That's less sad. I won't joke about that. So I've never waited so long to see them again, either. Fine. Guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us, too, right? Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? Where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, all right? Okay. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need to return to the light world. And go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground. And bring it back here, could you? So that's gotta be Relsi, right? That's gotta be our brother? Our possibly, potentially dead brother? We just don't know. Okay, let's do a save. You look upon the castle you first saw yesterday. You are filled with the power of immediate nostalgia. Well, you're telling me. Okay, let's save to the first slot. Hello, are you going? Trying to have cake without me? Uh, no, I wasn't. There is an inn here. Well, this is very Final Fantasy, isn't it? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. Okay, what about this? Is this a door? It's locked. All right, fine. We'll go back up to the light world, right? So we've gone into the classroom. We probably just need to go this way. This is east. This is exact. Wait, this is the training dummy. No one's looking. Hug the dummy. Ah, uh, no one's looking, but still, we're on it. You did not hug the dummy. You won't take the path of fluffiness any longer. We haven't taken the path of fluffiness at all, by the way. Uh, right, so do we just leave? Is this more open world? Is this more of an open world chapter than the last one? Because the last one was very linear. This one seems to have a lot more to it. And we're going up! Hee <laughs> hee! Alright, let's go east. Into this room here, right? Uh, everything off the floor. You gathered all of the junk off the floor. And turned it into a giant dusty ball. No? Not linear? Or not like a... Not, not open world? Okay, probably not open world, right? Managed to cram everything into the closet. Even the rug. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, I keep accidentally interacting with it. What's in here? What is in here? Nothing. Okay, we can't go in there. We can only go this way. Let's go back! We now have a head full of items. Now, are we carrying these items or are we keeping them in our memory? That's another question. I mean, it's slightly less linear. Okay, good to know. Hey, Chris, so where is every... one? Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! Hey, Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah! Everyone's here! Through the power of imagination. I still have a confirmation bias. Uh, hey, wait, I think we beat up some of these guys. Are they not gonna, like, gang up on us now? Don't worry, Susie! Pup Pup got trapped in a hamster cage, making me Prince King! And with my new dad-like powers, I declared you forgiven! Cool. Well, guess I won't beat anyone up here either. Yep! Now all that's left is for everyone to enjoy the new home! Wait, you home? Where's your old home? All gone! Gone? 
Right, when Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared and turned back into a normal classroom. So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie! We'll conquer Ralphie's castle as our own! Chris, are you... As you bring Dark World denizens back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare will be recruited to our town. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all ta have a look around? We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. Ha ha ha! Not if I surprise myself first! Last one there is a fresh and fragrant egg! Come on, Chris. You gonna let him beat us? Still highly feels like it's the power of the child's imagination that is creating this dark world, right? I I still have this this feeling. There is a party dojo here. What in God's green earth are we looking at? Hell, hello. I'm I'm Battles Master. Ask me about battles. Grazing? What? Grazing? When shots are. Oh, okay. Try to move slow. Sure. They aim where you were, not where you can go. Right. Okay. Yeah, I already figured that one out from Jevil. What else have you got? What have you? What What else have you got for me? Hole. We reached our monthly funding goal. I will now talk about our hole. It was dark, filled with darker dollars, fed from subscription by our followers. Working hard, no bank, no lender. We received one unit of legal tender. Thanks for donating. Thank you for the poem. <laughs> When I am staff for Delta Room content the algorithm provides, will you be doing the entire chapter in one go? Yes, but I will be recording all of these episodes in one hour segment so it's more digestible when the VODs actually go up. For people who miss the streams, I'm Battles Master. Okay, uh, hitbox. Shots aren't always as they appear. The bigger they are, the less to fear. You'll only get hurt a little inside. Take your pride and learn the size. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Uh, here is What's-His-Face with his hat. I'm so glad to have a nice boss. I could shed a tear, but I won't. I'm on the job! I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong, but there's always time to learn. The next step after tutorials is training. So, me and the boys got you together a dojo. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're gonna make you the strongest, boss. Let's do a challenge. Uh, there's a hundred bucks for this one right here. Clover rematch, I don't know who the hell Clover is. Uh, okay, it's not Clover's birthday anymore. She won't go easy on you now. Let's do it. Let's, oh, oh, here we go, finally. So we're gonna murder everybody that we come across in this playthrough here. Boom, boom, bah, oh, almost got the uh, triple crit. Nice dojo today, what is, okay. I'll get on the other side of the screen right here so we can see her health bar. All right, it's not her birthday, but, oh, piss. Oh, that is tricky. Oh, I, I missed this so much, by the way. Oh, here we go. I missed this so much. I fought Jevil so much, I loved it. Oh, okay, there's also a mercy bar now. We took away almost 20% of her health bar. We want to land the crits on uh, Susie as best as we can. All right, so just really dumping on. Okay, we got boxed into a corner with that one, unfortunately. Uh, gonna move away from that one. Susie is tanking. Ralsi again took way too, Susie's got a lot more health, sorry. Ralsi has a lot more health than she did in the last chapter though. Okay, fight, fight, fight. Boom, boom, boom. We landed the crit on Susie, great, okay. She called us an idiot, which is not very nice. Oh, whoops, we took that one for some reason. Okay. I, oh, damn it, we got boxed into a corner again. All right, we will fight Clover, we'll fight Clover, and we'll fight Clover. Boom, boom, boom. We landed a crit with Chris, but didn't land the rest. Okay, got more of these little balls right here. Oh, oh I'm slipping the balls. Oh, yeah, I'm slipping the ball. Oh, damn it, but <laughs> Ralsei's down. Oh, well, that's fine. That's something we can deal with. As long as we have our damage dealers, we are fine. Okay. We can't take any hits here, right? We can't take a single hit here. I thought, oh, piss. <laughs> okay, I actually took a hit, but it was fine. Good. I gotta get back into the habit of not taking hits, right? Oh no. It's begging us to stop. I don't actually want to. Okay, good. Oh, damn it. Okay, Susie's down, that's our damage dealer. We've only got Chris left, but he only has 2% HP, so we're gonna kill him right here. Boom. Nice! An amazing battle. As promised, here is your reward. You received a club sandwich. Uh, we're leaving. We're leaving this area and we are going to save so that we can get all of our HP back. I know it's a little bit... I know it's a little bit cheesy, but 
you know, it's, it, it is what it is. I'm going to do all of these challenges. We got to get back into the swing of things, right? Because we're really out of practice. Hey, boss, uh, we need another challenge. Gray's challenge. Let's get 100 bucks out of this bad boy. Gray's! Well, this one's not so bad. I imagine it's going to be way more difficult once there's, like, more of these little creatures. Oh, piss, that was way faster. So if there's, like, maybe two of these creatures. Uh... Okay. I can slip through these. I don't actually have to, like, duck and dodge them all. Okay, it's literally as easy as just slipping away from the... Okay, I've got the hang of this battle. Let's not take a single hit in this one. I, I don't think we'll take a single hit, honestly. Whee! There we go. We can probably just do this for days, right? Is the objective of this fight to do this for days? It may actually be. Okay, here we go, we've got some more. I am so lazy with this one. Is this actually what we're supposed to be doing? Are we supposed to, like, take a hit? Or what's going on here? Am I, am I doing this fight right? I feel like I'm supposed to have taken a hit. You're supposed to get close to the bullets? Oh, okay, 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 I'll do that. Okay, I got close to some of them. Okay, there we go. 100% toilet paper. An amazing battle! As promised, here is your reward. You received 100 buckery booze. Great. Wh who told us that? Who told us we were supposed to go close to the to the bullets on that one? All right, let's do Jigsaw Joe's life savings. Boss! You can act and spare on the same turn. If you know Chris's actual given the enemy 100% mercy, spare them on the same turn with Susie or Ralsei. We did actually do that in the first chapter. Uh, Jigsaw Joe jigs in. Can we kill him? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and kill him. Boom. Or oh, almost landed the double crit. Nice. Hey, that's not how you spear someone. Oh, okay. Oh, grazing challenge. I thought it was like uh, like goat mum eating grass from the lawn or something like that. Oh, we saved his life saving, which is a buck. That's not, that's not great. <laughs> we were the only one who ever paid him. Ah, oh, thou hast transplanted us to thine castle town, and truly a magnificent town of castles. It's art, but ho, oh, hmm, something art lacking if it feels. Could thou guys perhaps binge in an evil ruler or something? Uh, let's go talk to Top Cake Man. Hey, Lutz is in here. Oh ho, I am Chef Lanza. Try my delicious hand-formed cookies. They are free for a price. <laughs> What's the price? Zero dollars. I think we'll take one. I now pronounce you Cookie and Wife. Lancer Cookie was added to your items. Thank you. Uh, we've got the giant hammer here. Where's the, where's the Italian guy who makes the cakes? Isn't he supposed to be here? Well, well, look into a top bakery. The, I am this bakery smith, Malius. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, <laughs> but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. Let's fuse. Oh, I see. There's crafting now. Cool. Very cool. Oh, Iron Shackle. We actually have one of those from the last chapter. Okay, good. Uh, let's just push onwards. I'll see what else there is kind of like later, I suppose. It's a clean start for us here. Sukiri. I don't know what that means. There is the cafe. A uh, lot of enemies in there. From the last chapter. Shop here. Ah! Hee <laughs> hee! Welcome, travelers! I've missed cat. So we can actually sell a bunch of this crap that we don't want, right? And we've got a lot of crap. Like, uh... Dark candy, I think, are kind of crap. Let's sell these dark candies. They're useless. Can we sell weapons? We can. I'm going to sell this wood blade. We probably want to get rid of the red scarf and the main axe too. I'm doing it. And sell armor. We've got so many amber cards. Equipped already. Dice sprays, don't know what that is. Alright, now let's try and buy some stuff with our 16 grand. Ah, there's literally nothing here that we want to buy. That's fine. It's just got all the same crap he had in the last playthrough. What an asshole. Alright, let's go through. We'll do a save. I feel filled with the power of friendship. It's a manual. Read a topic. Uh, controls. I think we spent enough time in the last chapter fiddling around with that one. Okay, what's in here? There is a ball. It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball, there's nothing to sphere except sphere itself. <laughs> Prince 
Prince Relsi, I will keep your hat erect until you need it. That's Prince Relsi. Prince Relsi. Just wanted to show off your huge house, huh? No, what I want to show you is upstairs. There's a cauldron here. So is Relsi now an occultist? BF, living quarters for bad guys. Let's check it out. Oh no, where's the king? Ah, there's a little dogger right here. It's violently protecting the jail. Good. Dogs with jobs. Love that Reddit. There's a hamster wheel in here. Relsi is a male? Yeah, yeah, he's a male. Ah, oh, the lighteners! Have you come to humiliate me? Yes! Hell yeah! Eat it, old man! Hey, why the hell does he get a giant water thing? Jealous, are you? Then gaze in envy, whelps! As I suckle from this giant hamster bottle! Ha ha ha! Feel despair! Uh, never mind. Yeah, that was, uh, weird. I, I don't know if I like that. By the way, is my son happy? Again, I still think that this little icon up here looks like a corgi's ass from behind. Like you care? You're gonna throw him off a cliff! Ah, your prejudice made my bluff too effective, I see! Besides, even if I threw him, he would just... Bounce! My son is... A bouncy little pumpkin! Ah, oh, cute! We're done talking to you! Okay, good. We're done talking to him. Uh, do these guys have anything new to say? We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. We've grown to love this hellish place where we dress as animals. And there's animal crackers over here, right? We decided to dress as kings, it's cultural exchange. Okay. <laughs> right, because they've got a pet king in there as well. Uh, what's this one? Second floor, living quarters. Okie dokie, we're gonna go check it out. The, uh, uh, I have a surprise for you two. I made rooms for you in the castle. Rooms? So you can stay here whenever you want. Um, I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you. A place that you can go, no matter what's happening outside. Eh, well, we'll take a look. Okay, this is obviously Chris's room. This is actually Chris's room. Missing, missing her brother's bit. Ah, ah, her brother has moved out. None of this is happening. This just confirms it. Okay, it's a stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it here in case you want to read it. I don't. Can we go to bed? It's your bed. It feels incredibly soft, like sleeping on a dream. Stop saying that his face is not a dog butt. It is a dog butt. It's some decorative moss. Looks delicious. Why the hell does your room get moss? Maybe because we ate it in the first chapter. Ah, oh, that's gross. All right, what's in here? That's the rude buster icon right there. Right on the rug. And Susie, this is your room. Um, I tried to make it something you would like, but you can put anything else you want in here too. I really hope you like it. Okay. It looks pretty good, actually. Trust me, this proves nothing. The, the, the symbolism does not confirm whether or not any of this is actually happening. If anything, all of what I'm seeing right here is extrapolated from Chris's own psyche from her brother already having moved out of the house. Why would Relsi put your brother's bed in your room for yourself? Isn't Relsi supposed to be a projection of our brother? It's a projection of our brother in here. And since we know that Relsi has moved out in like the real world and the light world then it would make sense for him to have gone from our room in the dark world where i'm pretty sure we're projecting from our imagination entirely again confirmation bias but all of the evidence here is is pointing towards it, it being in our head right here my own room huh i guess that's pretty cool my own room like this how long did it uh take you to do this well, uh, since I last saw you two, I... Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? <laughs> I think she likes it, Chris. <laughs> Jealous I got the cool room. Look, Chris! Hmm, I also feel like Susie is trying to tell us that she doesn't have our own room at her house, which may suggest that she sleeps on a couch or just, like, in a room with other siblings. Might be a broken home. It's simply an anagram. What, the bedroom? That doesn't make sense. Is the character is used also in Undertale? Okay, I'll play Undertale before I come to any like massive game theory conclusions. But at the same time, all of this can just be pulled from what we've already seen from the light world. 
Right? None of this is actually new to us. None of this is new. All right, let's look at this bed. Cool, spike bed. Now I can stab myself during the night. Finally, some convenience. That's uh, probably a tasteless self-harm reference right there. Damn, there's everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs from the toaster, jawbreakers. Oh, and like actual food too. Wait till the end? Okay, I'll, I'll wait to the end. But I am gonna point out everything I notice along the way as well. I'll get on the other side so we can see the faces. Zuzi, you didn't get to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. Ugh, I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. Yep, that's exactly what it'll do. What's in the closet? It's a clothes drawer full of spiky and dangerous clothing. All the clothes are ripping each other up into shreds. Hell yeah, jealous Chris. No, I like my clothes to function. Oh, Lance's room. Why did that- Oh! Oh! That was a tasteful self-harm reference? Okay. So, yeah, yeah like, it, I'm getting from the... Reading in between the lines, I'm getting from the subtext that Susie is actually from a broken home, right? I feel like that's the case. I feel like that's why no one at school has really given her a chance. I feel like that's why she has a prickly demeanor. And only when she was stuck with us and played with us in that room was she finally able to actually make a friend because she's, uh, she never gives anybody a chance. She doesn't let anybody get close. She doesn't let anybody get close because she's afraid of uh, showing her emotions because that may indicate the state of her home, right? State of her family, state of her relationships. I know I might be reading way too far into this, but I'm, I'm getting all of this from, from all of this. And that's why Susie's kind of latching onto us. And now that we know that Susie's okay and we told uh, the reindeer, right? Uh, Noel, I think her name is. Uh, Noel's now willing to kind of like give Susie a chance and invite her into the group, even though Susie is still kind of scary because she knows that if, if Susie is given a chance, then she can have kind of like a redemption per se. I, I feel like that's definitely the case. All right, let's look at his bed. Wow, it's better than I remembered. I even have my own bed now. Now I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, that was for the bike. <laughs> That's right, he buried his salsa, didn't he? Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, wonderful. Great. Lancer, you aren't gonna believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as you? Whoa, I want to see. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. Uh, it's got a door, you know. A door? Wow, Beach Boy, you went all out. Okay, great. What about this tea bag right here? It's a music player. Listen to the contents? Sure. <laughs> it's full of cartoon splat noises. Gross. What is this? A trowel? It's some kind of digging implement. Definitely a trowel. There's a salsa buried in the ground here. J yep, just like his other bedroom. I love that my floor is full of holes. It's a hole made of recreationally. This is the same bedroom. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. Okay, good. I also feel like Ralsei technically either existed in our world and Ralsei is now stuck in this world, the dark world. Oh, that sound sucks. Or it is a complete projection from our imagination. One of those two. What's behind this plan? Hey, Ralsei, what's up here? Oh, just more rooms I'm renovating. So is your room up there? Er, yes, I still um haven't dusted it though. Yeah, like we need to see our nerdy glasses collection anyway. I don't think we're gonna be able to see that room. That's a prediction. Wow, we are all in a menage a trois right here, aren't we? I don't think we're gonna be able to see Relsi's room because Relsi's moved out. We don't actually know what Relsi's college room looks like. I think Relsi has more control here than he lets on. Hmm, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll finish it before I argue with everybody in chat. So what do we do now? Feel free to explore the town until you're ready to leave. Ah. Like we're gonna leave now, right, Chris? Ah, uh, we are actually. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave right this goddamn second. Oh, I barely forgot. This is where I cook. You cook everything in a giant witch's pot? Of course. Cauldron cooking is very convenient. Here, Chris, Susie, have a cake. Mmm, a little thick on the frosting. But that was made for sharing. <laughs> Hey, anyone was free to make an interception. <laughs> we did the same thing with that pie though, right? So that's just desserts. 
Uh, I also feel like um, Relsie and our mother, when when Relsie lived with us, right? The, the the brother, the brother. When the brother lived with us, they used to bake together, which is why we are projecting that cauldron out there. Again, like it's not confirmed. I'm, I'm just kind of extrapolating from incomplete data. Right, let's save and then we will leave. Then we will leave. Oh, we've got levels now. That's good to know. So what is out here? Wait, Chris, we're leaving, but we just got here. Man, I don't want to go to our group project. Oh, you two have homework? Uh, well. Zuzi, Chris, you ought to do it right away. School's important. That is something a big brother would say. That's what I that's what I said to my little sisters when I grew up. I banish you from this kingdom until you start your project. Uh, fine! We'll do it! Jeez! Zuzi, don't worry! I'll go and help you too! Er, wait, Lancer, perhaps you shouldn't... Too late, kind boy! Friendship form! Lancer was added to your key items. What? Where'd you go? Don't worry! I just entered your inventory! I'll just be hanging out in Chris's pocket! Don't know what that means, but okay. Oh. Yeah, not! I too shall assist it! Uh, we're good. Aha! Quite! We as a team aren't good! Rules became a key item even though no one wanted that. <laughs> Alright, enough already. Let's get going. Good luck today, Chris. See you soon. Mmm. Mmm. Still sus. Still sus. Still sus. Still very, very much sus. Well, damn. Guess we gotta do our project. <sighs> Delicious little break of tea. <sighs> At least we got Lancer, right? Do we, though? Lancer? Where are you? Damn. Guess he skipped out after all, huh? Mmm. So, where should we do this? What? The library? Ugh. Well, all right. Uh, uh, can we go and visit the reindeer dad in the hospital? Wow, I did not did not actually expect to have. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I did not expect to have such open world stuff right from the start. What the hell is going on? Hello, sir. Traffic's moving at a snail's pace. I love snails. Could today get any better? Nice. I heard a dog was doing donuts, so I sped over here. But I just learned donuts is actually the name of a special attack for cars. <laughs> Why is my life stuck in a loop of doughy disappointment? Oh, it's like donuts, as in like drifting in circles. That's funny. That's not a reference to uh, Toby Fox, is it? Because because of the copyright hell that the soundtrack is in, I know a lot about Toby Fox now. I had to basically educate myself about who he is, where he grew up, what his uh, favorite foods are and all that stuff, just to be able to uh, get the copyright lifted off of, off of my last video. So, yeah, I think Toby Fox is the dog, right? He's the, he's the dog? Damn, I was just directing traffic as normal. When a little dog drove one of those little toy cars into the middle of the street and started doing donuts, in the chaos, all the cars in town got jammed up. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but ordinary citizens like you gotta get out of here. I've got some heavy lifting to do! Why? Oh, the copyright hell. Uh, Toby Fox has put a copyright uh, kind of like ID, a content ID on all of his music. And the people who manage that content ID are kind of stupid in the sense that they have YouTube automatically detect every single instance of that song. And then they'll strike that video to try and claim the funds. And if you don't release the... Um, if, if you don't dispute the claim, then they won't lift it and they'll have all of the revenue from the video diverted to them. So it's actually worth their time to do. Um, but as a consequence, there's so many people whose videos are now being uh, just absolutely slammed with copyright claims and copyright strikes and such that uh, there's not many people playing uh, Deltarune on YouTube, which is probably why you haven't seen a lot of it on the YouTube. Why did you need to research Toby so hard? I needed to find permission that Toby Fox's um, music for the game was... Public domain, essentially. Like, it has content ID, of course, but I needed, like, a public declaration saying, hey, yeah, you can use this um, video anywhere, so that I can dispute the copyright claims. And there were, like, 20 of them on the Deltarune video that I made just by this one company. It's, 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 it's kind of sucky, but it's just a consequence of YouTube's algorithm at this, at this point. So I know a lot about him. I know a lot about him. 
All right, we're here. School, goddamn project. Books, goddamn. Crazy about them. Hey, Chris, where the hell is everybody? Something seems kind of off. Screw it. Let's just go in and play space pinball on the computer lab. Wow. She is after my own heart. That's what I did at school. <laughs> huh? It's like... The inside of the closet. Chris, you don't think this could be... Another dark world? Well... I guess this means we can't start our project. Unless... You know... Chris... If there's a dark fountain in there... You can seal it. And it'll turn back into the computer lab, right? So what's it gonna be, Chris? Uh, we can use the computer at my house. No, we can't. I don't know how. Let's go, let's go! Yeah, let's just drop the act. Our last adventure was great, right? I couldn't stop thinking about having another. I don't know what's in there, but... We can't live if we don't find out, right? Come on, Chris. Oh, no, we wanted to read the uh, most recent review of Hentai in the library, didn't we? Okay, here we are. We're getting our... We're getting our Mega Man suit on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is new. Oh, control. Okay, we've got control. Where the hell are we? What's up with the, uh... The, the, the little ding-a-lings? Uh, the... <laughs> Apparently we're in the dark world? That's good to know. Okay, we did the slip and slide. What's this? Looks like a broken texture. Hello there, little, uh... Togepi thing. What's... Kraken? The wires. The wires. Mew Moo is not hentai. I wouldn't know. I, I don't watch hentai. Oh, that's rough. Actually, that's quite rough. Okay, so middle bits, they're safe. Oh, piss. Okay, that went to the bottom anyway. Let's just go around. Okay, good. We nailed that while only taking a single hit, which is pretty good. Everyone, everyone was... Wow, I am not gay. Cap. Anyone else? That's part of Pac-Man and we said. I don't. I don't see a lot of Pac-Man stuff, but I don't look for it. I'm just negligent. Everyone else has been. Save us. She's going to. Somebody help me! Oh no, that's uh, Ranger. Somebody, please! Zuzi? Cool that you're here, just. Wait! Get out of here before it's too late! Noel! A study session? Who the hell are you? I am known as serial number Q5U4EX7YY2E9N! That was so hard to read, I have dyslexia. But you foolish children may call me... Queen! Eh, like we're gonna call you Queen. Q5U37... Uh... Queen! Well, look, Queen, we're not children! Teens are merely big children, and adults are even bigger children! That's not- that's not wrong, that's not wrong. Doesn't that make you a child too, then? No, I am a computer! Smart! My computer's not very smart. Dyslexia? I- I don't get- that's a pun, right? It's gotta be a pun. Computer? Well, thank you for the stimuli, but I must leave now! Goodbye! Wait! Wait! Why'd you capture Noel? I would have captured you too, but I ran out of cages! Why the capturing? So that she may become my willing peon! In my quest for world domination! Is, is, is this like a nice voice? I'm gonna go with like a French accent. Oh dear, maybe I will make her face into a robot one! Yeah? Do we go with that, or do we just go with the base, like, 
English Queen one. What? Why? Seems good. Well, forget it, dude. Nobody's turning anyone's face into a robot. Could that be a statement of animus decision? French good. Okay, Marie Antoinette style. Huh? English Queen? We'll go with French for now. You want to fight, loser? Yes! Yes already, yes! Oh, then bye! Wait a goddamn second! I have no time for such frivolities! I would kick your ass! But what up to it is could entertain you! I've kind of blended them together into a bastardization. Enjoy your assimilation! What are these things? And why are they wearing those masks that gimps wear when they want to inhale someone's farts? You know those masks, right? Okay, we're gonna start attacking and we're gonna kill. Ah, we got the crit on Susie, that's awesome. Okay, it's doing a couple of biz... It's doing its business. What the hell? Ooh! That's a cool move, actually. It's a shame I got hit by that, but that was a really cool move. Uh, Werewire. Okay, let's attack these werewires again. Oh! Oh, almost got the double crit. One of them's gone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another game of memory. Oh, thank you, Jevil, for preparing me for this one. Excellent. Where why dust sparks off his shoulders? Not anymore. Boom! Dust our sword off your shoulders, you big bastard. Got 178 buckery booze, and we became stronger. Phew. Oh, okay. Phew. Nice fighting again after so long. Now, let's go catch up to the queen. I'll kill them too. Or not. Oh, they calm down. I just used my pacify spell to put them into sleep mode. Rosie, you're here! I felt a dark presence and hurried over. It seems that a new dark fountain has appeared. Rosie, they got Noelle! Damn! What was she thinking missing in her dark world? If we don't do something, she might be... Worry not, Susie. All we have to do is seal the fountain. Yeah. Yeah! Can't be mad about another adventure, right? Come on, Chris! Now, mm, I, mm, mm, let's go! Are we going to go save Noelle because Noelle is here? Or did Noelle show Susie kindness so Susie is, like, projecting Noelle into the imagination that we're currently seeing? We're also in computer land, where we're uh, going through a computer library as well. How did Susie get here? Susie walked in with us. Relsi, oh, Relsi, uh, we, we imagined him. King of Spiders, I just joined the stream. I've never played Deltarune or Undertale. Can you give me a quick briefing? Okay. So, let me give you the abridged version. I've not played Undertale. Uh, Deltarune Chapter 2. <laughs> but I've got a four and a half hour video on my YouTube. It's really hard to explain. You may as well just go watch that, to be quite honest. Oh, how would you explain it? It's basically um, the best blending of Final Fantasy 1 and 2, uh, but also Bullet Hell. I don't think I've ever seen a better blend. Oh, we're playing Subway Surfers. This is fun. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're actually playing Subway Surfers. <laughs> what is this beat? This is chiptune as hell. Oh, it's gonna slap. Ooh. It slaps! It actually slaps. Finally! Yes, hello, Axelino. Welcome to the stream. I know you've been looking forward to this one. A green field extends before you, and in the distance, a session. You're almost had a Freudian slip there. A city shines brightly. You are filled with the power of a new adventure. Woo! Do -do -do -do. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, welcome to the cyber world. It feels good, doesn't it? Oh, let's kill this thing. Let's kill these uh, fart inhaler werewires. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a big, a big attack. We need to land the crits on Susie, I think. Okay, we got rid of one. All right, let's dodge this bastard. Ah, another jevil game of memory. I'm happy with this. Good. Let's not take a hit. Right. Okay. Triple attack! Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. Wonderful! M music, in fact, does aggressively hit your face. Music does slap. It does, doesn't it? Are you doing the funny run? Uh, I am doing the murder run for this one. Underrated YouTuber, thank you so much. That feels good. Thank, thank you for the endorphins. Uh, we found a glow wrist. Oh! We can- Oh, so, okay. Here's the thing, right? We actually have uh, some shackles. Yep, on Chris, we have an iron shackle, and now that we have the... What was it? We just got another item, didn't we? The, what, uh, where the hell is it? 
The Glorus. We can actually combine those two together at the city to get another item. He's not doing snow grave. This is very important. <laughs> wait, what do you mean wait? I don't want to wait. We're here to slay the queen. Queen rules. No, she doesn't. Come on. Music high fives you on the face. It's more of kind of like a, um, a sucker punch, I would say. Teacups. You should do it normally first. I'm doing murder. Uh, oh. Okay. That's, that's cool as hell. That is so cool. The genocide here is very, yeah, no, 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 no. We, we need to murder. So if, if you tell me what we're supposed to kill, I will do it to an extent. Oh, subway surface, but also a beat. Nice. I love this so much. I actually love this game. This game has, it lives rent free in my head. Okay, I think I whiffed all of those right there. Not normal genocide. Don't worry, your old pal Axe is here to help you. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yeah, baby. Uh, let's try and hit all of the like dudes, right? Oh no, it doesn't work. Or does it? There we go, okay. Weird. Does this genocide have pacifism neutral like Undertale? Uh, I think it has like no kill and kill. I don't know if there's any in between necessarily. Bad idea, do the secret genocide route first. Okay, I'll do the secret genocide route. I am a masochist. Let's not forget- Oh, yes, we all took damage on that one. Let's not forget that I am a stupid shotgun ape and I will kill everything before I have to do a single thought in this empty head of mine. This music is awesome. Oh, Chris, it's a free editable cyberpedia. I'll add an entry. Elsie wrote an article about losing recruits. Read it? Yes. From now on, defeating enemies with violence will make them lost. Lost enemies cannot become recruits ever again. But the bonds you break may make you stronger. So on the save right here, we pacified Jevil and only Jevil. Only Jevil, right? I don't know why we did that. I think it was because it was harder, but we did it, right? Killing stuff is okay. He wants an ending with his nuts out. Yes, I want the ending that uh, gives my nuts out. No, don't do the secret version first. Am I using OBS? I'm using Streamlabs OBS. If you're wondering how I got the like YouTube chat up in the corner, it was a little bit of black magic and a bunch of chroma keys. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, we've got a Togepi over here, we'll talk to him. Lightness, I haven't seen many of you recently. They kind of snivel, don't they? If you don't know, an evil ruler is taking over this world. I don't really like politics, so I don't have an opinion on this. Just play how you want and never listen to Axelino, ever. They have bad ideas. Axelino's had some pretty good ideas. Whoa, hey, what the hell is this? Tasks crossed your path. Tasks crossed our path. While well, we're supposed to be doing a book report. Okay, come on guys, come on guys. Come on guys. Look, I'm gonna be looking for every secret in this game, so don't worry about me missing something. I won't be missing anything. Just let him be. Bro just split into two. He did split into two, didn't he? That's um, meiosis. No, mitosis, it's mitosis. You're the one not letting him be. Guys, don't argue, we've got so much in common. We've got me in common. We've got the game in common. I'm gonna kill everything that I can. Just give me like the hardest uh, stupid shotgun ape run and I will do it. Okay, boom. Almost got the crit on Susie, but we still got rid of one of them. All right, what's this guy's attack cycle? Ooh. I do like this. I like that attack cycle, it's, it's pretty easy. Exileno's trying to confuse you. I'm always perpetually confused. There is no chance anyone can organically do that to me. He wants the hardest, so I'll make it hard. Let me rephrase. Yeah, that's phrasing right there, I'll say. We got 164 buckery booze off of that. Oh, hello. Well, honey, become my willing peon and I will free you. All you have to do is hit yes on the peon release form. I, I'm scared. Oh, have you never been signed a form before? <laughs> it's getting into all that weird ass Icelandic accent that I do. Play the normal route. Uh, the problem is that the weird route skips most of the normal story. Okay, we'll do the normal route first for the sake of entertainment. No, it's everything else that's scary. Please support your sadness protocol. I told you being a peon will be cool. Noel! Uh, Susie, Chris. Don't worry, we won't let your face get roboticized. That's something they're going to do? Oops, thought uh, you knew that. Oh dear, that was supposed to be a surprise. Oh well. 
Wait! It is quite troubling. A peon must be willing to assist me in world domination. If only she had fellow peons to encourage her. So? So, like, you guys. Hey, are you, like, doing anything right now? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to help you! Understood! Mind changing protocol necessitated! <sighs> the hell is this? Oh, that's a lot of text! Meow meow, what enthusiasm? Uh, not so great for a first run, you just want to kill all normal enemies, that is genocide. I know, but it's gonna repay the entire game from chapter one with this other save and kill stuff from normal route. Snowgrave and genocide are two very different routes. Backstabber, backstab them, punching game. Are we backstabbing? Are we backstabbing? Are we gonna punch? What are we doing? <laughs> okay, look, if somebody tells me like the story route, I will kill everything along that route. And then in the pacifist route, we'll go along the uh, the alternative route and we'll try and pacify everything we come across. Punch again. Okay. Backslashing with Susie's axe. Okay. Paper Mario aesthetic. I shall humiliate you at a simple children's diversion. With your self-esteem eradicated, there will be no choice but to serve me. The hell? I've never played this one before! But Gris is quite good at games, aren't they? They! They! You, he said they! Ralsei said they! We are gender neutral! Confirmed. The pacifist is the normal? Nah, pacifist is the second one we're gonna be doing. Right thing to do? That guy think the right thing to do is to kill everything we come across. Oh yeah, Chris! Forgot you are a nerd! Show her! Like Frisk? Just play as you want to for this one? Okay, I'm gonna murder everyone I can. Okay, let's, uh, let's push this. You tried to use the arcade machine. You weren't tall or strong enough to use the controls. <laughs> Self-esteem or revocation complete. Is that a, she's got a willy on her mouth in that icon, just, just over there. She's got a, <laughs> that's a ding -a -ling. We are gender neutral like Frisk. Yeah, 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 we are gender neutral. I just learned that now, by the way. Running, laughing, protocol. <laughs> Um, it's okay, Chris, or I'm short too. But Chris, wait, I have an idea! Chris, if we can combine our powers, then look, I'll show you what I've been practicing. <laughs> Magical stool form! <laughs> the joke returns in massive ways! <laughs> Rel equals Chris Bay because he is talking to Chris and you. How does, how does Relsi know that I am a male? And that must make Chris a female, if that's the case. Axelino's brain is in order. Oh yeah, it's, it's there sometimes, actually. Um, Noel calls you they. Axelino, so Relsi is breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? I have two neurons and they're fighting for the third place. Ah, uh, that's a mood. <sighs> okay, we're all making crazy theories here, guys. Don't worry, that's, that's the whole point of the stream. Now we're talking. All right, Chris, leave it to me. Put your arms out. Power Beast Form S. Move your arms and I'll move them with you. Let's go! <laughs> Incredible! Can you not stand so close to me, lady? It's a little uncomfortable. Your transformation is combining all your weak points. Self-esteem crushing efficiency 300% and rising. Brothers in a nutshell, hell yeah. Commence virtual combat. Are we fighting her? Are we fighting her? Oh, uh, press B or X if you dare. Shut up! Uh... Okay, we got it. We got a slip, right? Okay, good. I've got the hang of this. I, I tried to slip it, didn't quite work. Okay, we can get two out before she dings. Yeah, I figured that one out, guy. There we go. Two punches, and then a dodge. Apparently it didn't work. And then a dodge. Good. And then a dodge. Good. Yes! I am beating her senseless! Ah, so this is what it's like to, to kill a queen. Because I wasn't there for when Marie Antoinette was, um, was beheaded. Ah! I hit it! I'm hitting it! Okay, we took that one. Oh, we took that one too, right to the face. We'll hit that, yes, of course. Okay, we can only do it one at a time now, I think. We beat her! We beat the queen up with our fist! Punching out 37 punching in space. 
Try to break the laws of physics and backstab her. Well, she's got her back turned now. Maybe we could do that now. Trust me, it's mandatory to beat the game. Okay, we'll get good at that. I've played a few games like that before. That was actually quite amusing! Your life forms have exceeded my expectations! I will offer you a new, exceedingly benevolent compromise! Assimilate into my cyber army! And there is only a 50% chance I will reprogram your face! Please select your choice! Perish in the chill of absolute destruction! Or... Flourish under the warm bosom of my hellish reign! <laughs> Do we go bosom? I am a stupid ape. I think, I think bosom, right? I think we go for the bosom. Every hole's a goal. Every hole's a goal. Even if it's from a child's imagination. Oh no, I've just talked myself out of it. I think we perish. I think we perish. No, bosom, bosom. But bosom? It means ditty. We know what it means. We aren't helping you. <laughs> Understood. Reference settings set to perish. That's not what I chose. <laughs> Come on, let's go after her. All right, let's do a save. The game is wrecked. You are filled with the power of video game violence. Hell yes, I am. God, that feels so good. Okay, I'm doing an outro. Then I'm going to start the next episode. We'll go straight back into it, right? Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Deltarune. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the playlist, uh, the, the, the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally and at your leisure. And until I make the next episode, which will be in a few seconds, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye! Tripped over every single word in that one. Rough, huh?